everyone, welcome to our vacuum pump service blogs, where we dive deep into all things vacuum pump maintenance. I am Mahima and today we are shooting the first video of the series. In today's video, we will cover the importance of vacuum pump oil, factors to consider while choosing the oil, different types and a word on the mixing advice. Now let's hear from Charlotte and Gregor. I'm Charlotte and today I have with me our technical trainer Gregor and he's going to talk to you a little bit about why vacuum pump oil is so essential. Well, vacuum pumps create vacuum by removing all the gas out of a volume or out of a chamber. And the oil in these pumps provides lubrication to all mechanical parts inside and it creates a seal which makes it gas tight to prevent the backflow of gas through the pump. Okay. In addition, it takes the heat of the mechanical work mm -hmm. and distributes it evenly inside the pump, which allows for efficient cooling. Oh, very interesting. So choosing the right vacuum pump oil is crucial for the health and performance of your vacuum pump. So there are a few factors that you should consider when purchasing your vacuum pump oil. The oil should have a low vapor pressure, a stable viscosity behavior, excellent lubrication, and of course be resistant to cracking in high temperatures. A good vacuum pump oil reduces friction and provides a protective film against mechanical wear. Through its use of vacuum compatible additives, it extends the pump's lifetime. For example, in a rotary vein pump, centrifugal force pushes the veins against the pump stator. An oil film protects the veins against friction, and if there's little friction, then there is reduced heat inside the pump. The veins never actually touch the inside of the housing, but there's a protective film between the housing and the vein, allowing the pump to run for thousands of hours. A low vapor pressure means that the oil does not evaporate under low pressure conditions. This would be counterproductive when creating vacuum. A good oil is formulated from premium base stocks for the highest level of purity. A minimum number of vacuum compatible additives are used to maintain this purity. There are different types of vacuum pump oils, each with its own properties. Let's take, break down a couple. Well, mineral oil has adequate thermal and chemical resistance and resistance to hydrolysis. Now, hydrolysis is the breakdown of oil molecules in combination with water, and it is actually being used to make soap, not something you would like inside your vacuum pump. <laughs> no. Mineral oils cover applications where vapors are present and where the process is not too harsh. Ester oil is known for its high thermal resistance up to about 200 degrees Celsius. It keeps excellent lubrication capability and can take care of process residue. They are not recommended when pumping acids or humidity. Special synthetic oils are used in specific customer applications where chemical resistance is needed and processes at high or low temperatures. It keeps the pump running under very harsh conditions where other oils would break down sooner. PFPE oil is a synthetic lubricant composed of carbon, fluorine and oxygen atoms only. It offers supreme stability against chemical and oxidizing influences and it is, for example, required in processes where there is a high concentration of oxygen or in plasma applications. Cool.
Diffusion pump oil is tailored for very low vapor pressure and high thermal performance. It is highly refined to a single fraction of oil molecules to perform best in the diffusion pumping process. So there is no single oil for all, quite the opposite. Some applications require specific oils to withstand the process influence and keep the pump running under the special process-specific conditions. Now for a quick word on mixing oils. Well, it's generally not recommended to mix oils from different types or manufacturers. It can lead to a deterioration of pump performance and even to leakages. PFPE, for example, must not get in contact with other oils as even a tiny amount of mineral oil will destroy it. Changing a pump from mineral oil to PFPE requires a complete disassembly and cleaning in our service center. However, when changing from some of the mineral or ester oils to a specialized oil, it can be done with a simple changeover. But for most oils, when changing to a different type, more significant service is required. So there you have it, a comprehensive guide on vacuum pump oils and why choosing the right one for your application and vacuum pump is so important. But remember, proper maintenance is key to keep your vacuum pump working at its best. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on all things related to vacuum pump maintenance. Thank you for joining us today and we'll see you in the next video.